Uh, I have a bit of a fast one that we've kind of pulled today. Joe Capel, where are you? <coughs> come on down, buddy. You should come down here and join me at the front. Um, as Joe is making his way down here, um, one of the things I want to share with you, and you'll get more information about this in the Kingdom News that will be coming out in just a few days. Um, we as a church, we as a staff team, are in the midst of some really wonderful and important changes that are taking place. We waited for the results of our Immeasurably More campaign and had been waiting for them for a number of months. Um, we've had a number of interims. In, in recent weeks, we have had seven different positions that we were in the process of trying to fill. One of those positions is a position that Joe Capel vacated this past December. Joe Capel has served as our uh, director of facilities and did an absolutely wonderful job, set a wonderful, wonderful standard. We're, ex we're excited to share with you, you'll get a bit more information about this, that Dave Ellie Good, who's down here right in the front, uh, has taken on that role. Dave's done a wonderful job for us. Joe set a really high standard. Joe has done a lot of things for our church long before he was the director of facilities. Many of you know he was the executive director of the Harrelson Center for a number of years, and Joe is a wonderful and beloved person. And I want to call on um, John Daniels to come and make a presentation to Joe so that we can express to you just how grateful we are for the hard work that you've done. John Daniels. Joe doesn't know this, and I'm sure he doesn't remember it, but we met about 24 years ago in Signal Mountain, Tennessee. You see, I was doing a children's sermon that Sunday, and I thought I was doing a very good job of teaching the children that it's truly the people that are the church. It's you folks. And so I went on and on. Finally, when I finished, I said, all right, boys and girls, what's the church made of? And this little boy raised his head and he goes, bricks, big, <laughs> red, bricks. Joe, you love this church. You love all of the buildings. You love all the furnishings. But I think deeper than that, you love the people. And that's truly what sets you apart. We've been unable to keep you in our building, but we're going to send our building home to you. And, uh, in my first like 20 days of being your minister, I was out of pocket on some retreat or some trip or some training or some something. And I only got three days in the office and the only person or the only way that that was possible was for Joe Cape. And I am truly indebted to the hard work and the wonderful man of God that you are. And I thank you. to say thank you when we're not saying goodbye. Uh, we're seeing far less of him in the office. Mayor Ruth's seeing far more of him. Um, and Mayor Ruth's happy about that, and Joe's happy about that. Joe lives down on the beach, and that's a pretty wonderful place to hang your hat. And so we're grateful that, that God's given him that opportunity. But we are very grateful to know that even though Joe's day-to-day -day work in the office and in the building has, has, has changed, that his love for our church and his service in our midst will continue. So, Joe, we're grateful for that. Take the opportunity. I'm going to ask Joe to stay right here, and you take the opportunity to come and say thank you to him for me. We tried to do this a few weeks ago, but they had a death in the family, and so we finally were able to get it on the schedule when, when Joe's cheering section would be able to be present. So <laughs> be a part of that cheering section and thank him afterwards. Let's close with a word of prayer.